What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be transplanting my cool weather crops and actually I picked up a really nice bunch of rosemary so I'm going to be planting that too. Here are my crops. They are looking kind of puny because they should have been tra transplanted a while ago but that's okay they'll bounce back. We got, actually, I'm not going to be doing the basil today, but I got some kaolettes right here. And if you never had kaolettes, oh my gosh, they are so good. They grow like Brussels sprouts, so you'll get this really big stem, and in the little armpits, uh, kaolette heads form, and you eat the kaolettes. They're so good. They taste a little bit like Brussels, sprout, Brussels sprouts, too. I got those here. I got some cauliflower right here. I got a whole bunch of lettuce and cabbage over here. Uh, more lettuce and kohlrabi, I think that's how you say it. I've never grown this before. I know that I can, I'm probably gonna direct sow some of the, all this stuff too, just in case these don't do well. Um, but I know that these grow really fast. I'm excited about that. And I got some dill and thyme. And I got a couple more things in the house I'll show you later. But I am so excited to go do this. I'm going to be amending this bed over here. I bought a couple more things of compost. So I'm going to be amending this bed. Wow. It is such a beautiful day. I think it's gonna be almost 70 today, which is crazy. We're about five weeks away from spring right now, and I cannot wait. I'm just going to take up all these tarps. Let's see, pull up these. And I'm actually, I got two bales of straw, so I'm gonna use straw instead of these tarps, I think. Because if I cut all the holes in them, I was gonna cut holes specifically where each plant was, but I think if I do that, then I'm just gonna have to keep buying and keep buying more of this uh, tarp. So it might be a little bit costly. Well, versus I can get a huge bale of straw for only six dollars and that will probably I have two right now and that's probably all I'll need all spring and all summer hopefully so I'm actually going to be planting the larger cool weather crops in some five gallon buckets that I have I'm gonna amend the soil in those I have a whole bunch um, because they take a long time to to grow like the cabbage and the cabbage and cauliflower take a long time to grow so and I don't have very much um, gardening space as you can tell this is what I'm working with my little backyard I have three beds right here oh, actually four if you count this little one over here and then I have this side I have this little area that I need to amend still I put some onions in there and they got trampled on whenever we're renting this house right now and they were doing some work back here and they got trampled on they stepped all over my onions so I don't know if I can salvage those or not so but I have this space that space and then two little garden beds in the front so I'm going to like I said I was going to put the cabbages and cauliflower in these five gallon buckets to save space because they take a long time to grow I'm just gonna amend the soil. That it doesn't look too bad. I pulled out the tops of these right here and that looks like some good soil still. Hopefully, I'm kind of worried about fungus since this is repurposed soil and it's in a container, but I'm just gonna go for it and see what happens. Hopefully, I don't get any fungi or bad stuff happening to my plants, but we'll see.
Okay, so I got all of my straw down, and I'm going to be putting uh, three kohlrabi right here with the lettuce. I got wrapped lettuce and butter crunch lettuce. And on this side, I'm going to also put my hay down, or straw, excuse me, put my straw down. And I have two Swiss chard, some spinach, and kale, Russian red kale. I'll probably direct so some of each of all of these as well. Um, but like I mentioned earlier, make sure that you buy seedless straw. There's a difference, a big difference between hay and straw. Um, and some straw has seeds and some do not but make sure you buy the seedless kind or else you're going to have it's, it'll defeat the purpose of having mulch down to begin with you'll have all kinds of weeds and it'll be horrific but let's go ahead and I like to space mine out so I can see where they're going before I actually dig a hole and everything um, but yeah let's get to it so I'm going to space these further apart because they get pretty big. I'm just going to spread the hay out, dig a hole about as big as the container, and carefully turn, place the plant between my fingers, turn it upside down. over how nice it feels today. So nice. Don't let it trick you though, it's gonna get cold again. That's why I'm only planting the cool weather crops. Don't plant your tomatoes, no matter how bad you want to right now. It's a lie, it's de deceiving. Cool weather crops only. Well, at least for me anyway. Like I said, I'm in zone 7B. Um, it's really easy to figure out what zone you are in for gardening. All you have to do is you could Google it. Just type in Google, what zone am I? And it'll bring up um, Farmer's Almanac. Alm no, Farmer's Almanac. And you'll just put in your zip code and it'll tell you what zone you're in. And I'll tell you your frost dates. My frost date is around April 10th. So I won't be sowing any of my warmer crops until around April 10th. Okay. Okay, so I got all of my lettuces and everything planted. I'll show you what they look like. So they look puny right now, but that is okay. They'll bounce back. There's the kohlrabi. And my 
wrapped lettuce and butter crunch lettuce. And I went ahead and sewed these as well. We got the kale over here, the two kale, and then the tiny little spinach. Got three of those. I'm gonna sew. I'm definitely gonna sew some more spinach. And then over here is Swiss chard. I'm so excited, and I didn't update you guys on this, but. I covered my onions because we had about six or seven frost, frosty day, uh, nights the other night, so I went ahead and covered them. Even though they're mulched, I wanna, I wanted to cover them. And look how good my garlic is doing. They are great. I got, I counted them the other day, and I have 32. I think I sewed like 45 and I got I have 32 coming up so not too bad considering I started them like two months late <laughs> I'm hoping they'll clove let me know if what you guys if any of you have planted garlic too late if they cloved or not okay so now I'm going to grab these plants over here and I'm going to amend these five gallon buckets with some more potting mix, potting soil. Another pro tip I found out the hard way, uh, make sure that you use potting mix or potting soil something that says container soil if you're going to be doing any type of pots like five gallon buckets or those pots over here any of those because if you don't your seedlings will probably sprout but they will just stay sprouted they will not grow um, because the soil will be too dense i'm gonna go ahead and grab those seedlings and I'll be back in a second. Another thing I should have mentioned is whenever you sow in seed or sow seeds indoors and you want to transplant them out outside you need to make sure you harden off your plants and that means uh, setting the seedlings out for just a couple of hours a day before you transplant them out, transplant them out into the, the garden because if you don't they will burn the sun will scorch them they're not used to the wind and the rain and all of that stuff so make sure you harden them off before you put them outside I'm just going to amend these pots over here I don't know if you can see them Ooh. all of this stuff if you can see all of those I got a whole bunch I like to add some of these, some of this perlite to make sure it's nice and airy and it has good drainage. Since these are pots. This is not a crucial step. You just want to make sure that you have good drainage. Also, you want to make sure that you drill holes in the bottom of the buckets. What is this? I think this is a potato. 
No way. No way. I just found... <laughs> I just found these potatoes in this bucket. How funny. So, can't use them now. Now I'm just going to transplant my seedlings into these buckets. About container deep, right in the middle. And this one is a Kalet. I love Kalets. They kind of taste like a Brussels sprout. If you don't like Brussels sprouts, then you probably won't like them, but they grow just like Brussels sprouts, actually. And they do take a long time. That's why I'm planting um, the bigger things that take up a lot of space that also take a long time to grow. I'm going to put in uh, these five gallon buckets. That way I have more space in ground for my other seasonal things like tomatoes and cucumbers and all of that. Um, I'm a really big fan of container gardening. You don't even need a big space. Obviously I'm in the middle of town and I'm gardening in my backyard so you just need you can work with what you have and I have a whole bunch of these five gallon buckets so I'm gonna use them for gardening I've got this cauliflower here doing the same thing Okay, so I went ahead and transplanted all these babies to show you guys. I have three kalets right here. And then these are, I got four cauliflower and four cabbage. So I'm probably going to direct sow some of these plants as well. Let me show you guys what I've got in my pocket. I've got some loose leaf lettuce blend mix. I love chamomile. I drink at least a cup a day of chamomile tea. So. I'm super excited to try to sew my own arugula, more Swiss chard, oh, my baby's home, babies, let's go surprise them. That was cool, buddy. Hey! Hi! <laughs> Did you have a good day? Huh? Hi. Did you have a good day? Yeah. Yeah. I know. I and there's Theo the and Grandma. <laughs> oh, do you want the camera? Yeah. So give me that rat tail or rat and snitch. Whatever Daddy calls it. Cat hair. Yeah. Cat <laughs> Anyways, I'm also going to sew some poppy flowers. I've never tried to sew my own poppy flowers, but these are gorgeous. I have two here. Scarlet and cream poppies. They say they're frost hardy. Direct sow in late fall or in early spring. So yeah, super excited to try these. Look how beautiful that is. Also, I'm gonna be starting more sugar snap peas. We eat these like crazy. We'll just come out to the garden, pick them, eat them as a snack, I mean, my youngest daughter. I have really bad luck with carrots, but I'm going to try my best with sewing some of those. All of these things I am reading off are frost hardy, so you can start them before your last uh, frost date. These I literally just got at Dollar Tree. I didn't see that it said four for a dollar. I should have just grabbed four, but um, they're not the best, so I'll probably sew this whole pack, but 
we will see. They might be good. I've actually, I've never tried them, so you never know. If that's all you can afford, then that's all you can afford. This one was also given to me. It's a cheaper pack given to me by my friend Julia. Um, it's spinach. Gonna sew some more of those. And I think that's it. We got back to the lettuce, so super excited to try all of these. Let's go do it. Okay, so I'm going to start with the sugar snap peas. I'm just going to move all this out of the way. And it says to sew them an inch deep, four inches apart. So I'll do a couple over here and then a couple over there. Hi, baby. Oh, hey. Did you have a good day at school? Oh, she wants over. <laughs> no. okay, she'll get into my garden bed. So we're going to just poke our fingers down. And just guesstimate. Again. Yeah? <laughs> and drop our peas into each hole. Cover it up. And that's it. Until I leave this uncovered. Until I see them start to germinate and pop out. And I'll go back and label them. But I have a record. Since I'm recording or filming, I don't have to do it immediately. But I do have some popsicle sticks in my hand. I'll just get all the straw out of the way. I'll do four on this side too. After you plant them, or sow them, after you sow them, I'll just give them all a good watering. Wait for them to spread up. And right here, I'm going to have all of my carrots. I'm going to do this cheapo bag of carrots in this Baker's Creek carrot pack. So, like I said, I've never had really good luck with the carrots, but I'm going to keep trying. And hopefully we'll get something this season. I heard that if you stick a board over your carrots, um, they germinate better. I don't know if that's true. Is that true? <laughs> I don't think I'm going to do that. So, I mean, unless you guys tell me to. So I'm just gonna, it says to do it one fourth, a fourth of an inch deep. So I'm just barely gonna make a line with my finger plant them inside that little groove. Probably do th about three rows like this and then I'm just gonna dump the seeds into this row and then I'll thin them out later as they grow. I'm going to sew them pretty thick just so I know that they will come up. Actually, I might even not use the other pack that I bought. Okay. 
then just going to gonna mix it together. Is this for me? Mm hmm Thank you. <laughs> Is it? Bury it. <laughs> I got my little one. gardener helpers today. Hi, Kimbo. Hi. I'm planting some grass in a boiled egg with salt on it. Oh, good. We need some grass right there. And I got my baby, Fifi. Hi, Fifi. Oh. Mama, what are you doing? Oh, are you going to crawl to me? He just crawl. learned how to crawl. And he has two teeth. And he's seven months old today. Okay. I planted some uh, Zloty Lane Chamomile right here. And I did some over here as well in my garlic bed. There is my carrots. And so some more spinach. And then over here at the ends of the beds, I'm gonna do these cream and scarlet poppies. Right here, I'm gonna do them on both sides of the beds. These two beds at least. And I think that is all I'm doing for today. Um, I was going to amend the other bed over there but it's getting kind of late and we gotta eat dinner still and clean and do homework and everything. So I'm going to sign off and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. I wanna show them how I slide down, okay? All right. And my leprechaun you notice. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs>